Hello, all good evening, and welcome back to Beer Crony Reviews. And my name's Chris, and then tonight we're off to the Mad Squirrel Brewery. We're off for uh, quite a new one from the Mad Squirrel Brewery, and there it is. This one's called Smolder. So we're looking at a lager, but this is a lager with a difference. It's a smoked lager. Uh, so quite new from Mad Squirrel. Uh, well, very new from Mad Squirrel. I think it was only launched uh, this sort of week or last week. Uh, Mad Squirrel, they are local to me. They're sort of about eight miles away from me. They're actual brewery, so quite local. So I do like to pick up some of their beers as and when I can. Uh, I reviewed one the other night, this one, the, the Mad Squirrel Evolve. Uh, which is a contemporary red, so it's a red ale. And that video just went completely wrong. Uh, the camera moved, the ring light that's behind my camera, that was in the shot. It wasn't very good either, as it was just an absolutely appalling video. So I didn't upload it, unless you want to see it, and I'll upload it. But anyway, we're not talking about that one. We're talking about this one. We're talking about the Smolder. So a smoked lager coming in at 4.6%. So I certainly haven't done many lagers on the channel. And this one sounds interesting. There's a few sort of bold statements on the back of this can. Uh, I'll give you, a, I won't read it all out. I'll just read you a couple of sort of sentences off there. Uh, it says it's crisp. It says it's intensely smoked, refreshing. And it says the newest mad squirrel lager has it all brewed of 100% smoked malt for that forest campfire feel. God, oh, I don't know what to make of that, that forest campfire feel. Now, what does that mean by forest campfire feel? I, I've done a, I do a lot of camping and I do a lot of outdoor cooking, which is certainly one of my, one of my hobbies is, is outdoor cooking. And I've done a lot of smoking of food as well from all sorts. I've, I've smoked literally all sorts of different foods. So when I say I go camping, uh, you know, I, I don't do, you know, campsites that have got facilities like shower blocks and toilets and clubhouses. Uh, I literally go not far from where I am and a friend of mine owns some woodland quite close to me. So we do some quite basic sort of camping, but we cook the most amazing foods and we certainly always have a, a campfire in the evening. Um, so that on the can it says as i say it says the, the forest campfire feel so whilst we camp in the woods the forest campfire feel and the, the aroma of a campfire feel is all going to be dependent on on what sort of wood you're burning uh, and what food you're cooking on it and so it's interesting i'm nervous about this one uh, smoke lagers are not something i've had before so this is a new new one to me um, I'm not a big a big lager drinker by any means, but they are a local brewery. It is new, so I thought I'd, I'd have to give it a go and, and see what it's all about. So let's not mess about anymore. Let's crack on with it. So let's get her in a glass. Let's see how she sniffs. So let's see how she looks and see how she tastes. Like I said, this one's a 4.6%. And yeah, straight away, it's got a typical sort of lagery look to it. Yeah, typical lager sort of look, isn't it? Most lagers generally all look quite samey, don't they, really? And there she goes, in the glass. All in the glass. Not getting any aromas yet from the glass. But not a bad looking lager. Reasonable carbonation, nothing, nothing heavy on the carbonation front, just the... You know, a fair few gentle streams going up. Nice one finger head. Uh, but yeah, it just looks like a typical lager, doesn't it, really? Quite pale in colour. Golden coloured. Not bad. But anyway, more importantly, let's see how she sniffs. Let's see how this smoked lager sniffs, shall we? <laughs> I've been worried about this one. Oh. I expected a stronger aroma. I really did. Um, saying that it's got smoked malts in there, that's what it did, did say that, didn't it? Smoked, brewed with 100% smoked malts. Uh, I expected it to be a bit stronger on the aroma. Let's go again on the aroma. It's definitely smoky. It's definitely got a smoky aroma, but I, d I just expecting it to be a bit more. I expected more of the smoke, to be honest. And I'm trying to relate that 
to a forest campfire. And I'm not getting that. I'm struggling with that really. It's definitely not a campfire smoke smell. But it is, it is overwhelmingly a smoke aroma. It's just trying to pick out whether it's more of a smoked food aroma or a campfire smoke smell. And like I say, a campfire is all dependent on, on what wood you're burning. It's taken me a while, as you can tell. I just can't quite work it out. It's definitely got a foodie element to it. Apologies, I'm taking my time, but I'm just trying to work this one out. It's not prominent. It's not, it's not obvious which type of smoke that is. It's probably because it's smoked malts and I've never smelt smoked malts before. <laughs> I just don't know. It's more of a foodie smoke, the aroma. It has got about, like I say, I've done a lot of outdoor cooking and I've done a lot of smoking. And one of the, the biggest things I do is, is generally is pulled, pulled pork. Uh, and I slow cook that and smoke it. Um, but that will all depend on what rubs you're using on the meat. This is about the beer and I'm, all I'm doing is fucking talking about meat, aren't I? So, it's difficult, it's difficult to pick one out. It is a bit porky. But I've also got a similar sort of aroma off, off you know, doing low and slow cooking of, and smoke, smoking a chicken, so. I can't work it out, I cannot work it out everybody. It's definitely got a smoke to it, no shadow of a doubt, it's, it's smoky. With it a tiny little bit of sort of a, a, a lemon potentially, but other than that, it's smoky. Absolutely, it's smoky. But anyway, so let's crack on with seeing how she tastes. I've done way too long on how she sniffs, haven't I, and how she smells. So let's see how she tastes. Cheers, everybody. Oh, fuck me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Wow. Oh, the flavor is way, way stronger than the aroma. Oh my goodness. That is smoky. Oh shit, that is smoky. Oh, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I really am not. Oh, that's smoky. Oh, that's a bit porky. Oh, oh, it's pork. It's a, it's got a. Mm. I don't know how I feel about it. I really don't know how I feel about that. It's definitely smoked pork. It's porky, and it is smoky, but it's not. It's not a nice smoke. It, it, oh, how do I explain it? I don't know how to explain it. And <coughs> this is the first time I've had it. So I apologize for things being a bit unsure. Some beers I've had before and I review them and it's not the first time I've had them. So I've, I've got an idea. And sometimes I've got an idea of what to say, but I, I don't know what to say about this. It's definitely smoked. It's definitely porky, but it's a bit of a raw smoke. You know that type of smoke if you are sitting around a campfire and the fucking wind just changes direction and blows that in your face and you inhale a load of that smoke and it really kind of hits your throat. That's what that is with a porky tinge to it. I don't know, yeah, I'm not. The aftertaste isn't great. And it does feel like you've just inhaled a fuckload of bonfire smoke, is what that feels like. But there's actually a, a little part of me that likes it. There is a little sneaky bit of me that likes that. 
Let's try some more. I'm not getting much else from it other than smoke and pork. Oh, no, I don't know if I do like it. <laughs> I just can't decide what I think of that. I can't say it's a clean mouthfeel because the smoke makes your mouth feel dirty. So it's, it's not clean and it's not crisp because of the smoke. And I've never had a smoked lager before, so I don't know what they should be all about. I want to try more. I want to, I want to try another one. Not from Mad's, not, you know, the Mad Squirrel Smolder. I just don't know how I feel about that. I can't say it's clean and crisp because the mouth, the back of your mouth feels a bit, a bit dirty. It does feel like you've just inhaled a, a load of fire, a load of bonfire smoke. And it's lingering. It's really lingering. I'll tell you what it reminds me of, actually. It reminds me, and I don't know if you've ever done this. To people that have smoked cigarettes, I don't smoke cigarettes anymore. I haven't for a number of years. I do vape. And you know, that there's those occasions when you give up smoking. And you haven't had a cigarette for a month or so. And then you have another one. You do have a cigarette after a month's break. And it tastes amazing to start with. And it reminds you of all sorts of things but it leaves that feel on the back of your mouth and that's what that feels like to me. It feels like I've started smoking again, is what that feels like. That's exactly what it feels like. It literally feels like I've picked up a cigarette and I haven't had a cigarette for at least four years and that feels like I've just started smoking again. The initial hit is really nice. The initial flavour, you think, yeah, that's fucking amazing. And then on the back, you get that lingering faggy smoky feel on the back strangely with a bit of pork <laughs> added to the mixture <laughs> oh it's fucking weird it is weird I'd, I'd have to try another brewery smoked lager like i said i haven't done many lagers on the channel i think literally a couple even if it's is it even that many i'm not a lager drinker but i don't mind a lager you know, I do like a lager at, at the right moment. That's an interesting lager. And it's still in my mouth. It does. It feels like an old cigarette, cigarette smoke in my mouth right now. Oh, it's weird. First mouthful, you take the mouthful and it's nice. It's how it finishes on the back that's not nice. It's, I don't know, maybe with some smoked meats, maybe with doing a, a... Next time I'm out doing some outdoor cook it, cooking, and I do do a lot of outdoor cooking, and I even do it in the winter. I, I go camping in the winter. I'm going to get more. I will get another one, and I'll get one of those. I'll get another mad squirrel, and I'll eat it with some smoked food and see if that changes it, see if that changes how this works in your mouth. I mean, if I'm struggling, would I recommend it? I probably would, just because to me it's so different. <coughs> it's just so, so different and I want to try it again. And I want to try it with food. Uh, I, I'm quite into pairing foods with, with drinks. So I would like to see how that fits with something that's been cooked low and slow, nicely smoked, and see how that works a bit. I can't say I don't like it. I can't say that I do like it. It's a, it's a, it's a bit of an enigma, this one. It's a strange one. It's got a slight citrus element to it. It's the back, it's the back, it's the back end I'm not, I'm not enjoying. The front is really nice, but on the back it's that lingery smoke and it's not a nice smoke. But on the front, it's, I like it. On the front it's a little bit porky. <laughs> it's, oh, it's fucked up, it really is. I don't know, I don't know. I'll tell you what, um, 
I don't know if there's any other reviews. I'm going to go and have a look and see if there's any other reviews on this. I can't imagine there's going to be many. And I, I would say order one. I'd say, fuck it. Go on Mad Squirrel's website. Uh, the delivery speed is, is shit hot. Um, like I say, they're only eight miles down the road from me. Um, but when they do, if you order it, that they are quick. They're super fast. So go and check it out. I think it was just over three quid a can. About £3.50 maybe. Give it a go. Give it a go and see how you feel. Uh, if you've not had a smoked lager, definitely give it a go. If you're used to smoked lagers, then give it a go and see how it compares. Um, I'm certainly... It's intrigued me. It's definitely intrigued me to potentially seek out some more. Um, and I will give the Mad Squirrel Smolder another go, but I'm going to do that over, a, over some smoked food. And maybe I'll record that and upload it and see if it makes a difference. So yeah, that's me done. I'm all done. Um, it, it's an interesting one and I've enjoyed doing it and it's made me smile. And that's what beer and food's got to be about for me as well. It's got to make you smile. Uh, and I, I have enjoyed it. I've enjoyed doing the review. I hope, you, I hope you've enjoyed watching it. Uh, if you like the video, give it a like um, or don't. Thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't mind either way. Uh, if you're new to the channel, it's the first time we're watching it, uh, give us a subscribe, a subscribe if you want to see more content. Um, but yeah, I'm done. I don't know what else to say. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all on the next one. Take care, everybody.